Hello, how are you guys doing? Good, I hope. It's a little bit cold here today. I was just editing uh, last stream a little bit and uh, noticed that I'm very nasally right now. Uh, I think it's because I'm sick. Or just getting over being sick. Tilda's sick, which is unfortunate because being sick sucks. Um, when I say it's cold here, uh, it's, uh, it's like 79 and, and, and cloudy, which, you know, for, for Texas is kind of cold. Um, I don't know what that is in like Celsius I'm trying to figure out how I change that on, uh, my little app here. Here we go. Celsius. That is 26. So that's cold for Texas. Sort of. Um, not really. Usually 70s cold, but with the rain, it's a lot colder. Anyway, uh, we're going to do amnesia. You'll message me right before uh, I got ready to stream saying, hey, do you want to do Blind Mario? I said, um, well, maybe? So, maybe. Depending on if he's ready by the time uh, we get done streaming. Or before streaming is over. Also, I noticed that the capture is off. Hold on, let me fix that. Uh, I... I I just got um, the settings for what uh, KY uses to stream. We have basically the same computer. And since he lives in Austin now, we have basically the same connection. So if he has any problems or any uh, improvements that I can do to my computer or the stream, I should take them. So now we are streaming at, uh, instead of sub uh, 720p, we are now streaming at 720p at, uh, I believe, 30 frames per second as opposed to 25. So, the quality should look a lot better than usual. Um, 60 FPS is still not possible with my setup. Um, I think I need a better connection for that. I don't know exactly how to computer, so... Anyway. Lots of talking and not actually streaming, so let me go ahead and do the stream thing. Uh, the song, again, is a 8-bit rendition of the King Diamond song, uh, Blue Eyes. It's a... Um, it's a song about, um, I don't know, the, the album's like sort of a concept album about this guy and this girl he goes on a date with, um, they go see a puppet show, things go bad, as, uh, most dates that involve puppet shows do, so. Anyway, just made some, uh, tea to make it a little bit warmer here. I forget what 100 is in uh, British or non-American, I should say. Um, but that's what it normally is. Roundabouts here. 80 to... So that makes it like... I don't know. Low 80s are kind of cold. Um, ish. 70 is cold. Anyway. Blind Mario is, is good. We'll do that probably, maybe, I don't know. So all the more reason that I want to get started on uh, Amnesia as soon as possible. And I'm currently stalling uh, because the game is loading. There we go. Uh, is the screen region right? Yeah, it is. Okay. When, anyone want to explain what Nordic Game Program is? Was this a student project? It's very good for a student project. I mean, it's, you know, Amnesia. It's a little bit loud on my end. I think I was playing... I actually haven't played Payday for a bit. Usually crank up the volume on Payday because the audio levels on that game suck. Um, though, I mean, when things are cold or hot, it's also like, I mean, we have air conditioning in Texas because it gets to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which you'll have to Google to figure out what that is because my phone won't figure it out easily. And, um, that means that, uh, we kind of need to do something about that. Anyway, how are you guys doing? <sighs> Last time I talked about right at the end of the stream that I was going to look up alchemy stuff, so I did. And, um, it seems like this game actually knows what it's talking about to some degree. I don't know. By looking into... I mean research, and by research, I mean I googled, uh, what the fuck is alchemy? Um, 16th of May, 
1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, yeah. we uncovered a passage beneath there the dunes, leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought, and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Uh, yeah, Blind Run is basically, I've never played it before, and I'm not going to look at guides. Preferably, chat doesn't spoil it for me. Um, most things I do on this channel are Blind Runs. Uh, unless if I say otherwise, or I say, Oh, I remember when I got to this part back when I was a little kid, or whatever. You know, generally speaking, I'm doing blind runs. What the fuck is this thing? Is it like a cultist holding a knife? Oops. That's kind of... Wait, there's just a sun... Can I just go out through here? Hold on. No, there's something in the way. Okay. I was just gonna leave, but apparently we just have a really dumb looking skylight. Um, hmm. My guy apparently is afraid of the dark. Uh, which explains why I freak out every time I get in the dark. Oh, I actually have to read this one. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenberg is to recommend my services to the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. Uh, may no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Grinch. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. Although, my character is freaking out, so I'm going to turn on the lantern for a minute so I stop freaking the fuck out so much. Um... Here's the study. Uh, I believe we're looking for... Something or other. Uh, we need to get, like, certain chemicals. And that's what I was going on about with the, uh... They know what they're talking about as far as alchemy goes. I don't... Like I said, I, I googled and then YouTubed the fuck is alchemy. And, um... There's like hour long videos of some guy who's breathing in through his mouth. 17th of May. Explaining all that. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I swear I hear something out in the hall there, but I don't see anything. And Tilda linked in chat uh, the 
conversion. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit is 37.8 degrees Celsius. So that is average. I would say that's fairly normal for summer in Texas. Somewhere between 190. Not 190, but like 100 or 90 degrees. Um, Tilda's from up north where it actually is cold and it's not just me bitching about it being like 70 degrees. Um, I need to calm down a bit. So if I experience too many spooky things or whatever, my character starts to freak out a little bit. Um, I also need to be in the dark sometimes because it allows me to hide from the monster because the monster can't see in the dark. light the fireplaces so just take this it's a way too large of a cor corridor for me to be too happy about going in here I don't know what it is about the architecture in this place but it reminds me of that scene in uh, Call of Cthulhu where you have to run along through the uh, hotel what the fuck Is that a horrible sound coming from the room? Over here? The roof is bleeding. I don't think I installed that. I may be rich, but I'm probably not that crazy yet. I wasn't prior to, um... Hey, I can play piano. Can I actually do things, or is it just... Okay. Wasn't I in here just a minute ago? And didn't I not light the candle? Because I don't remember lighting that candle. So how did that candle get lit? No, wait, I wasn't in here. This is a different room that looks... Very similar. I'm just gonna hide in here for a minute. there's anything yet. Someone said that like 30 minutes or so is what the point where I think I'm dead. Did I die from 17th of May oh. 1839. No. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, I can but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Seems like a really bad idea. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Um, alright. I reached out closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. That the sounds like Lovecraftian stuff. The next thing I can remember stuff. is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs... So this is this sort of a Lovecraftian horror grasp, sort of thing? Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. I'm gonna turn on the light for a second until I get my sanity back. How am I doing health-wise? My head is pounding and my hands are shaking. Okay, uh, how much oil does this give? Okay, not like full, it's just a little bit. I'll put half in, because I don't know if they're gonna take it from me or anything. The Kingdom of Prussia. Okay, 
I don't remember where pressure was. I don't think it's a thing anymore. Someone keeps playing the piano every time I leave this room. I don't know why. I don't mind people playing piano. They can play the piano while I'm in the room with them. It's okay. I don't know. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay. So we are moving forward. Someone said that the uh, the big bad shows up about 30 minutes in, and uh... oh, that appears to be in what that loud sound was. Okay, I'm blocked in, and there's a note. Uh, would I give myself to an Eldritch God for ultimate power given the chance? Um, I don't think there's really like it rarely advantages anyone in the Lovecraftian thing. Uh, usually they go insane, so it's like, what good is it, you know? Yeah, you have ultimate power, but you don't know anything anymore. You're just crazy, or you know too much. It's very Lovecraftian. Uh, I wish I could ask you how much you remember. You don't... I don't know if there will be anything left after I can... Wait. That is that the one that I need to be reading? Yes. Okay. Um... Kill your former self. Oh, no. Kill the other guy. Okay. You must find a new way out. Find the key for the wine cellar. That's what I'm looking for. Um. Alright. Save a little bit of fuel. It's a fairly central spot. Um. I mean, I guess madness has already come to me in the form of Rose and Flash games. That is true. Um, so I might as well get some power from it. I mean, it's like when you think... Like, when the cops already say that you've, like, murdered someone or you're stealing, you might as well murder someone or steal something, because you're going to serve the time, probably. So you might as well do whatever it is, you know? I think that's probably awful advice, but that's how I do. Um, what's... Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't help me any at all. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at or where I am. Is this the rounded... No, it can't be. So is this here? This has to be here. So that means that... Well, that doesn't help me any. I need to find an alternate way out. Can I throw stuff at the window? Maybe that that's probably not it. Have I met the spooks yet? No, not yet. Oh, wait. This glowing here was to let me know that this is here. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. I need something to throw at it. I'm dumb. That was the solution. I saw it, and then I just ignored it. Okay. A little bit more damage than I would expect a wooden chair to be able to do to a stone wall, but... You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay. So we have an elaborate puzzle that we have to do in order to keep the big bat out. Or in. But we know that didn't work, because... I mean... This game wouldn't exist unless if... There we go. Uh, all set in Brinningburg 
Brindenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with the lore is Alstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, the castle of Brindenburg, a quiet forest-clad mountains. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark, any local that you ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it certainly serves an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep re reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by the tainted souls, have left them disfigured of empty essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horror, horrid reverence. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gathers as it seems as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. Uh, it is their prey which can be heard struggling inside the damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my throat's still a little bit messed up. Uh, a visit undone. Hendrich Cornelius Agrippa, uh, well-known erudite, visited Allstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight he looked for the remnants of the kingdom past. During his stay, prominent members of the society paid notice and he mentioned in, is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the Northwest Glades only to never be seen again. Hendridge is known to have passed away in Grins Noble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Allstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brindenburg lives a reclusive life with the family at the castle nearby, Allstadt. And like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century and was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming his role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular through his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the perfect and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron was in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago and lived through time and of occupation, joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the greatest leaders of the country. Okay, cool. Good. We probably learned something there. Um, the Haunted Souls of the Damned or whatever from the 30 Year War sound like the, uh, well, I've seen what the monster looks like in this game. That sounds about right. So, that's gonna be my guess. I think there's a pixel between them in the corner. What? It won't open, it's locked. All right, well, um, this doesn't help us any then. Oh, we do have to do the puzzle probably. I just gotta remember how that puzzle works. Uh, I bet I need to break in. Okay, let's turn that on for a minute because I can't see shit. Would help. Take this. What is this? Does this help any? Okay, that didn't help any. None of this seems to be helping me. It's just a book. Um, hmm. Let me look at my mementos. Uh, there's a secret door me mechanism in the local history room. Sorry, that's just Tilda doing some cooking. Okay. 
Okay. I do need to find a button or whatever. First one first, then other things. Okay. I'm just gonna tear shit up until I find something. In a game with physics like this, that may be the best. Is this it? Okay. There's got to be another one that I've got to pull, and then I can do the thing. Okay. I don't see any other books that look like they pull out like that. Here's another one. No, it's just a normal book. Um, it's gonna be a lot of me pulling random books off the shelf until I find it. Um, okay. How am I to know which one is which in the puzzle? Okay. Either it didn't matter or I got it right somehow. That's nice. That makes my life a little bit better. Read this first and we'll pick up the key. Uh, do you want me to just like speed read this? Like this? Because it seems like it's a lot of words. Okay. Something about the order. I don't know. There's the big bad, finally. I don't see it. I hear it out there. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. I don't see shit. I don't know if I need to. I guess I need to go right. Because going left didn't solve any problems. Although it's probably to the right. Okay, 
calm my character down a bit so he doesn't freak the fuck out when we see the thing. No, I'm telling him the thing that I just told him. that door. I have bad a feeling about this room in general. All right, let's calm down for a minute. Doesn't look like there's a way to not get freaked out by this guy. Am I stepping on eggshells? It certainly sounds like it. Go. Don't I need to go right in order to leave? Yeah, I think the canon reason is that I'm biting my nails. And that's what that crunching sound is. Yeah, I think I need to go the other direction. It's the wrong way. being sneaky, so we shouldn't see anything. It's fine. What? It's very close to me. It's like to my right here. I don't think this has helped my situation any. Am I trying to go this way? I don't remember how I got here. Let me turn on the light and uh, unfreak myself out for a minute. I feel like I'm going directly towards the monster now. Which doesn't seem like the best of ideas. so huge I'm ducking if this game is anything like Soma most of this game is gonna involve me crawling around on my hands and knees because I'm too afraid to walk God, I use up fuel fast oh there's the door all along I'm dumb what happens when you let me control things. For a second, I read that as doomed ceiling, not domed. Oh. Okay. 
I didn't think that that was going to be fun for my health, but I'm all good, apparently. Sanity is dot dot dot. That doesn't sound like a good way of being sane. Okay, so I achieved something. Got the key to the wine cellar, right? That's what I got, right? That was the objective? Yeah, wine cellar. Okay, wine cellar. There's the wine cellar, we're going down here. Yeah, I know it needs a key to unlock it. How do I use the key on it? Oh, double click it. And I solved the puzzle, so my sanity goes up. Should I have waited in the light for a little longer? Maybe I should stand here for a minute. Does this help? I've heard, um, that, oh, rubbing the brain helps my sanity. can't die to sanity or anything like that. Okay, good. That's good to know. I have a safe room now. I have a room that I can be relatively safe in. I used up a tinder on that too. All right. Well, plus side is that I can't, uh, nothing can get me in here. I wonder if anyone's made an amnesia. Dating sim. Like, they did with Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that. Like, there's got to be some dumb shit they made like that, right? Is this an actually... Okay, no. It's not important. Is that important? Alright, that didn't solve the puzzle. Okay, still dumb. Wait. Hold down... How does this help? Okay. Am I like pushing the boulder out of the way? Okay, I think I can. something outside the door. Am I dropping a lot of frames? Like I said, I am trying out new settings, so I may be having some problems as far as, like, stuff goes. Um, let me check that real quick. I've dropped a few frames. Um, Justine is a dating sim? don't think it is. I need to, um, alt-tab back into Twitch. There we go. Well, that doesn't help me any. 
so that's still in the way there's is there anything I can do about this okay um I should be okay, so those are actual bugs on my face. My character seemed very calm about that. I would freak out about that. Alright, I don't see any spooky monsters. Okay, that gave me a sanity buff. I hear the spookiness over here. Sticky buns for hands or... I'm kind of doing stuff right now. Can't answer your question about sticky hands or whatever just yet. I think I might go back into the room that's, uh... Shut. All right, well, let's not go towards the door where the monster is, and instead go somewhere else. All right. All right, I got two of the things. I forgot what all I need, hold on. Um, notes um, early okay calamine orpiment and the culprite and then we need aqua regia instead of aqua fortis actually heard them reference that in the video that I was watching although they may have just been amnesia fans some people, times people who get really into like different, I don't know, games or whatever, start treating that as part of like whatever magic they uh, they believe exists, and then it gets really dumb, like spells that allow you to access your shadow link, um, which is a legit thing that I saw once. Um, Hello? Yeah, everyone seems to love Eternal Darkness's insanity effects, but yet no one seems to want to make that. Pretty much have to perma crouch in this game, I think. All right. Can I calm down for just a second? Just get your shit together. Okay. The bitrate thing is going to be a problem here. Because it's going to be so dark that you're not going to be able to see shit. Now finding these sanity effects to be more annoying than spooky. Um. <laughs> uh, 
maybe I should go somewhere where there's just light that I've set up. So that way I can just calm down. It's getting hard to control my character. Like the mouse control gets all weird. helping my sanity any? I can't, is there a meter? Uh, yeah, TPP will actually affect pretty much everyone uh, between America and Europe. So. There's that. Yeah, I think my controls are ass because of my sanity, so I'm just gonna stand right here. It's blurry because of my sanity being low. You have to sit around for literal minutes for sanity to regain. Um, have I ever dug a hole, got in it, and pretended to be a carrot? No. Very specific question. I take it you have. All right, well, my sanity is just gonna be fucked, apparently, for a while, so. Standing up helps with sanity. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it seems like it's okay enough right now. I can still move. I go for moments where I can actually, like, move around some. So I'm gonna open this door. And then hide behind this for a second. Oh, hey, all It's all good. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to do it today or not anyway, so that's why I was like, yeah, just let me know. Once you're ready and it's all set up. I can't see shit to know if I'm scared or not. See anything? What am I freaking out about? I was gonna do a uh, blind Mario with Yol, but uh... can he see me over here? I saw him for a moment. Sorta. Um, Landrum, medical bracer to improve your health and help w heal wounds. Well, my mental health is really what I'm concerned about right now. When is blindfolded SCP? Um, I don't think that will be a thing uh, because that sounds absolutely horrifying. Um, I assume I'm gonna have to go towards him. Because that's how Soma was, that they kinda forced you to go towards things that freaked you out. Is this like a body part? What What is this that is dropped? It appears to be a body part, I think. No, it's a rock. Okay, well that's considerably less freaky. So I should really chill the fuck out. Check my notes real quick. Um, no, that's not it. Um, okay, so I need one, two, three, four. I have one, two of the things. I mean, I can light things up, but then he'll be able to see me, and I really don't want him to be able to see me. The controls get ultra sloppy and like, it feels like there's mouse acceleration. After as much as I've fucked up with Yol, I don't know if I really want to have him helping me. Can I 
calm down for a minute. <laughs> told that rubbing the brain helps, but I don't think it does. How much money would I have to collect to get you to play SCP blindfolded? Oh, I see. There's money involved. Um, that sounds like an awful idea, and it sounds like an idea that will just make me afraid to live. Um, the reason Blind Mario works is because there are only so many directions that I can go in, and so we can easily direct things. There's also very little... Um, stress to move constantly, so um, it works for that reason. Can you guys see this? Like, can you guys still tell what the fuck's going on? Or no? That barrel moved of its own accord. So I've got one, two, three of these things. You can see clearly. The increased le resolution should help. Frame rate being 30 shouldn't matter too much in a game that I'm walking around this slow in. Um, it would prefer, it would, I mean, 30 FPS is a little bit better for games that are like much slower paced, like Hearthstone. Um, but my computer just can't handle more, so we can't do more. All right, I think we're gonna go hide in the nice room and uh, calm the fuck down. Turn up the brightness. Okay, on my end or y'all's end? Okay. Just push this rock back over. That taste, that fragrance, Damascus rose. I think I went up one sanity rank. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna drink some water while we wait. I mean, the inventory is a problem. Uh, managing blinking and stuff might be kind of hard. Um, I have momenta momentary lapses of complete sanity. That's nice. Like, yeah, I know. I have a fear of the dark. I remember. I'm very aware of that every single time I can't go anywhere because is this blood? Good. This is a lot of blood leading over to What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Well, it sounds like my it God. did. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> okay, well, that went badly. Um, so that's someone's exploded remains on the floor. I probably shouldn't look at it too much. This guy seems freaked out about stuff like that. we're okay. Though, I have a feeling that if you're giving me a closet, you're probably going to want me to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy right over here in the doorway. Move this bowl. 
It's not like Skyrim where I can phase through walls with the bowl. Um, uh, how scared would I be if I was the protagonist? If I was the protagonist of this game, I'd be very freaked out, but I'm not being as immersed as I guess I would be. Uh, Soma, like, it was a 27-year-old guy who just got in a car accident and just wanted to, you know, have an okay life. Like, this guy, I don't know. I don't know what his motivation is and all that. Okay, so I'm doing pretty good as far as my, um, my sanity goes. Now, this closet here makes me believe that I'm probably gonna set something off as soon as I... Yep, here it comes. Is this higher than Minecraft? Um, I feel like Soma is a better game than this. I mean, it was a later game for them, so they had more time to like figure things out. Um, and they got better at the model. They had, I, I don't know. I watched um, whatever it was, Machine of Pigs. I watched Jen stream that. And um, that didn't look as spooky, like because it was so linear and the monsters couldn't follow you into other areas, it didn't really feel like there was any threat most of the time. Okay, how's my sanity? I'm crystal clear sanity-wise, apparently. I don't think so much shit. I thought it was good. I liked it. The plot was interesting. Um, I have a slight headache. I liked it a lot. Um, I felt like it had a lot going for it. My name is Willem, House of Greenwich. Uh, House of the Grinch. Uh, these are my final words, my confession, my testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Brindenburg. As most of uh, aristocracy, I would have—I was curious about what a supposed knight of the order would want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and the reason I was chosen was because of my, the follies of my past and not the honors. I had been rewarded with. I have been rewarded during my times as a soldier. I was kidnapped. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and to do so without questions. In return, he would test my character at a royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I'd like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Okay. Um, ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to the Brindenburg. I cannot remember the numbers. There are many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but I insisted and joined in the toast. The wine tasted fine, and my drink, men drank without restraint. So began the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolting against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes. I can no longer. Um, I take it that didn't go well for him. I have a slight headache now. All right, so I have all four things of the regions that I need in order to make the thing. Um, Hear him. I can't see him though. Okay. I like that leaning does not push the door any. So I can kind of like lean and look at the 
door. Uh, actually, before we go any further, let me pause for a second and pee. Because uh, I just drank a whole shit ton of tea. Does this stream look better? Can you guys even tell it's so dark? Um, I might stream another 30 minutes of this or so and then switch to uh, Sky Hill. Because I've been playing that some and I really enjoy it. And um, I don't know. It'd be good to have a little bit of everything. So I'll be right back. Give me uh, a minute and a half or so. See you guys in a minute. Oh god. Well, you can enjoy that. Just being huge like that. It's good. All right, I am back, and uh, Olaf is enormous. Um, what's going on, Yandre Sim? I do need to download that. Um, I'm using KY settings, and I'm using the 720 Spooky Stream setup. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Let me shrink this down. Uh, Yandre Sim should be something I do this month. I've heard there are some significant updates. Um, maybe Saturday, do you want to call it Saturday? We'll do Yandere Sim and SCP because that's a, a salt and sweet sort of combination. Sort of, I don't know. Uh, KY has basically, I basically built this computer based on the settings or the things that KY had. Um, and, um. So, since he lives here in Texas, he lives like seven minutes away from me now. Um, he should have basically the same setup as me. So that means that if he can do 720p, I can do 720p. So, these settings are based on the settings that KY has, which allow him to do a 720p stream. Is this gonna get uploaded? Yeah. Um, these will get uploaded after Soma is done being uploaded, and that looks like it'll probably... So basically, November will be when this is uploaded, um, if I have done my math correctly. Um, so we have our things and we need to leave. The chances are, because he's just been lurking this entire time, he's probably going to come out and try and kill me now that I'm actually leaving. Um, because why wouldn't he? KY has different internet? No. Uh, I compared, we did a speed test. He's got a better download than me, but we have the same 12 MBPS up. So that means that um, if he can do it, I can do it. But I do need to upgrade my computer because if I can upgrade my computer, then I can do Fallout 4 and that would be great. I should probably read these things, but I just don't because I don't. I don't know. Okay, so every time I beat an area, stuff ah, happens. And then I have to walk around it. All right, let's go um, chill the fuck out some in the main room. I'll know what my sanity's like. 
Yeah. Um, lots of people who move here, um, after, uh, living up north for a long time, tend to find that it's, uh, more enjoyable to live here in Texas, but it's because they don't want to deal with the snow anymore. Is this the right dim- okay. I just wanted to check and make sure on that, because I was a little bit scared that for some reason I'm not streaming at 720p or something, and then all that stuff would be awful. Uh, it would be great to be streaming streaming at 1 GP, GBPS, but I'm not. I don't have that capability right now. Um, is there a way to not... Okay, so I need to go down to the lab, right? And the lab is, I believe, through this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think I probably need to go in there. I'm gonna check and see. What am I trying to do in this? Uh, well, currently I need to get through a wall of flesh. And the wall of flesh is behind this door. Um, there you go. There's the wall of flesh. Now I should have the chemical composition now to get all of this together. I need an apparatus, so... That means that I need to go into the laboratory, which means that I need to step on the uh, red stuff, which will hurt me, probably. Uh, I have a few cuts and bruises. I'm not too concerned about the uh, the damage. Um, I don't know how it works out in this game, so just sort of accept that this stuff is happening. Okay, that didn't hurt me. more of a light sheet of flesh than a wall. You are correct. I set a lot of candles and stuff up when I was in here earlier. Mainly because I was getting tired of not being able to see shit. Um, there are flies now. There weren't flies earlier. Alright. Um. All right, I got him. I got him. Okay, so it doesn't matter where they go. Okay. I'm gonna go hide. He's gonna come from over there, right? Probably. Unless if he comes from behind me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stack up a wall of things. And I'll hide behind them. And then when he comes for me, he'll be like, whoa, what's going on in here? No one's here. I guess I should leave and maybe go fuck off somewhere else. And then we'll be okay, right? Is he not out there? Uh, happen is with two peas. So that means now this. Now we hide. Okay. Let me read the instructions. I've never tried to barricade a door before. Um, early alchemy experiment. Uh, calamine, orpiment, culprite. Alright. How do I know it's what? Turn on the burners first. OK. 
Okay, I'm doing that, but... Okay. All right. Um, I don't remember what any of these are. Oh, oh, okay. Is that too much? Is that too much? Or is that good? Is this good? Am I doing it right? Oh, whoops. Okay. Um. Oh, there you go. Puzzles don't have a fail state, so you're good. Okay, so I just need to have all the things in order. I blew it, now I gotta go get them all again. Damn. All right, uh, I cannot spin this for the life of me in the direction that I would like to spin it. Um, you're fine, you're fine. I don't know how to speak any languages other than English, so you already got a one up on me. You're coherent. I understand you. Okay, now I hide. I have a pot of acid now. Now we go hide over here. This is our true hiding spot. Okay. So, now what are we doing? Um... So, my objective is to burn through. Circular, oh, rather than left to right, I need to. the uh, pot of uh, chicken noodle soup that Tilda's been cooking all day has, uh, was boiling over. What was that? Excuse me, it wasn't. I burped. Payday 2. Day 8 of Crime Fest this year. Thank you. Takes me a little bit out of the moment. Wait, what was that note about? Um, the stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Wait, the stairs collapsed? Oh, yes they did. Um, well, this is the first thing I did in the game, so... Um, I guess that's not an issue anymore. <sighs> that's gonna be the, the... Um... How this game's gonna go. I'm gonna kind of dumbass my way through a lot of these problems. Okay. So the uh, walls of flesh and gross are uh, leaving. So that's good. Oh, that was another thing I need to talk about. Um, if all else fails, Saturday, I got something special for you guys. Um, if Yandere Sim doesn't work, or if I can't get the newest update to SCP, which apparently there is one since the last time I, uh... Downloaded it. Which means that we got some new shit to do. Um... So now we're down in the refinery. I forget why we were trying to get here in the first place. It's been a few days, and, uh, I wasn't really paying attention in the first place. Um... Anyway, Saturday should be good. I like that it's kind of Lovecraftian, but I feel like the whole Lovecraftian thing is a little bit overplayed at times. 
It sure is dark in here. Yeah, it is. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Okay. It's more of an Earther type type store. Okay. Okay. So it just gave me a warning that I should try crouching if enemies are near. So, guess what I'm doing? Like the rest of this game, crouching. Okay, I saw it, but. Also, that chittering sound sounds exactly like my fan when I have it running. So I keep looking up to turn off the fan and it's not on. Yeah, at 4.30, we're going to switch to Sky Hill, I feel like. I love craft, but it's definitely something that's like... Everyone kind of just bastardizes it. Doesn't actually need it. They just go, oh, Cthulhu, that's a, a, a Lovecraft thing. It's like, Cthulhu's not even really the most interesting of them. Uh, I think Haster is, but Haster's not Lovecraft. Haster is... Um, what's his name? August Duralith. Who is cool. Um, oops. I thought that was a... Uh, well, that's fine. Man, this game reminds me of that tentacle porn I watched earlier. Oh, good. Um, tentacle porn is a weird thing. And seems very unhealthy to be into. Read this, or are you going to get in my way? 22nd of June. There we go. 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Yeah, I understand why that stuff was created, but that doesn't mean that it's not healthy for you. Like, there's toothbrushing porn for the same reason that it allows you to get around Japanese censors, but um, you know, that's weird. That's some weird shit. Also, someone asked if they could send me images. Uh, best way to do that is um, I don't know. Um, Twitter, Tumblr, that kind of thing. Generally, that's an easier way of sending me pictures just because um, I don't check the messages on Twitch because no one ever uses it. And when they do, it's usually some bot sending me some game of some... It's usually like a virus or just a poorly made game. YouTube has a messaging system as well. I think they got rid of it. Um, there was one game that I ended up playing because I was just so happy that a developer would send me a game to play that I tried it. Turns out they just send it to everyone, probably. Um, but the uh, the game was about literally clown rape. Um, so uh, I wasn't too interested in doing that. So now I um, now I don't play games unless if I know what they are. <laughs> My sanity level is very low. Yes, it is. Um,
they're gonna be like, okay, this room looks good. That helps. Okay, let's chill for a minute. Let's stop talking about porn. It always leads to conversations that I don't want to hear. My sanity is getting low in real life. Um, yeah, I mean, none of the... Hiding behind this barrel now. Am I okay to hide behind this barrel? Should be. Twenty fifth of June, there you go. Eighteen thirty nine. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together. Wait, does he not remember how he got the orb? Than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. That's interesting. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Okay. I mean, I've only collected one mood ring, if we want to call them mood rings. Um, if we can, uh, I don't know. Uh, this game's all right so far, but it just seems like it pales in comparison to. Uh... Oh, there we go. The door opens the other way. Uh, it, it seems to compare in comparison to the uh, its predecessor. Wait, no, not predecessor. Um, successor? I liked that. I liked Soma. Soma was a good game. Is it the best game ever made? No, but I enjoyed it quite heavily. And it had a lot going for it. Um, the plot, I could understand. I felt the character's motivations. And I'm pretty sure there's something spooky happening. I just don't care. Um, hey. Thank you, Christy Rav, for three months in a row. I, I'm, I think it's because I'm pretty chill and I don't really like encourage chat to get weird, but also, I don't know, you guys are just a good group of people. All right, so here's a crank thing and it seems to be attached to this rope thing and the rope thing is attached to this door and I assume I can't just open this. Um, it's too heavy to lift by hand, okay. And there are barrels in front of that door, which is most likely gonna open as soon as I start cranking, which means that I need to have a, a plan. Um, what is my plan for when that door opens? Which will happen. Revved is no longer a thing, I'm sorry. I switched it out for uh, Rev Olaf, I believe. Uh, Pulsar got updated, but I don't know if the update actually fixed the problems we were having. Uh, we're, we basically agreed that we weren't going to restream it until, like, the problems that we were having are fixed. So. Alright. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to crank it, and then if it opens, we'll run in there. If it doesn't open... Uh, we'll bolt to the right. Either way, we're going that direction, away from the door. Um, and I need... Alright. Kind of didn't expect that to be the thing. Um, 
So this thing must be clogging the pulley, okay? Alright, what's clogging the pulley? I mean, I don't really see how this connects to that at all. Um, so wait, maybe this isn't to keep something out, but it's to keep me in? That there's not going to be a spooky thing coming through this? No, wait, I've been here. What the fuck am I doing? Lots of flesh walls. Closing in. I should put the SCP notification sounds on while I'm streaming Amnesia. Um, turns out the service I was using is actually really bad. And they take a decent amount of money from you every time. So I'm kind of glad no one donated while I was doing that. Um, also, it just, I don't know, it didn't really work. Because no one was really interested in doing it. And it didn't really... Uh, there was like one jump scare from it the entire stream, and it was kind of like, eh. so I'd rather just not. It was it was an experiment to see if we could try something new and spooky, but uh, all right, I guess we just follow the pulleys and um, see where it goes. Maybe no, okay. Uh, what is it stuck on? Oh, there's a stick in it. Okay, well. Go ahead and shut this door. Barricade this shit up. What did I use? I forget if it was stream tip or something else. But, uh, chat didn't seem enthused about it. I don't know. I like trying new things every now and then. That should work now. Oh. I mean, this seems like a really bad idea. I mean, considering it's a flesh pit, that seems even out worse. But, you know, it's what we're supposed to be doing, so jumping into the flesh pit. Suppose this is a good place to stop and we can just point ourselves at this door and know we gotta continue from here next time. Um, heal now? Well, I'll do it next time. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna uh, switch out and play um, Sky Hill. I really, I mean, my original plan was I was just gonna play Amnesia for this half of this month, but like, honestly, I fucking love Sky Hill. And I just kind of want to play it right now, so. Uh, unfortunately, it's a spooky game, so. I can stream it and be like, oh, but it's still spooky month. Ooh. Yeah. It's good. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's all that exciting of a stream, to be honest. I turned off the sound for Sky Hill because I was playing it uh, in the background while I was watching YouTube videos and stuff and uh, getting other stuff going, rendering. Um, so I did get a little bit of progress off stream. I got like down to level 50 or so, so, um, and I got this, uh, addict. Basically you lose, uh, 10 health instead of two every single time you lose or take damage from eating something or not having anything to eat, but also, um, you have the ability to eat poisoned or overripe food. You posted the image on the board. Cool. Um, is it tagged with my name? That's the best way to get me to look at things. Uh, and I also got this where I'll, it allows me to lock pick. Um, I still think survival kit's one of the better ones that we've got. Um, I don't really like Silver Spoon. Because it's... I'm going to try taking Addict and uh, let's try the, the lock picking. Let's just try something new. Because normally I use the um, whatever it's called instead. I'm going to let that play while I uh, actually, it's one of those games where that doesn't happen. I think this game just won a couple of awards, like indie game awards. Um, there is a demo, like I said, for this. I basically just talked to them on Twitter and they, uh, they were like, yeah, you want a free copy? And I was like, okay. 
So cool. The video is weirdly cropped. Uh, yes, it is. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, that's because I recently switched the resolution up, so it should look nicer. So it's kind of a roguelike. Um, it's more of a roguelite. It has some stuff that is sort of similar. So we have the sleeping area, the elevator, and this. The journal idea is that um, I'm a guy who, you know, was just on a business trip. He thought, eh. Um, it's one of the perks of being a, a streamer and having a, a decent following. Um, has the dove seen me stream it yet? No. Uh, you know, because it, it's a beneficial thing for both of us. I get content and they get something. They get free advertisement for their game. It's good for everyone. Um, the general premise for this game is you're just trying to get down from the top of the, the luxury suite that you had. Also, World War Three happened and now there are zombies. So, um, that's happening. I'm just getting my ass handed to me by this guy. I played a lot off stream. Well, not a lot, a lot, but you know. It was either this or Hearthstone. I like Hearthstone, but it's, um,. <sighs> yeah. Punch a zombie in the face. Fuck him. I have a stick now. That's actually better than my bare fist. So let me go ahead and get that out. I found that if you're in inventory while you're moving, you can actually do stuff. Because it doesn't allow you to get into the stuff. This game has some flash game looks to it, but I encourage you to, like, overlook. Um the aesthetic, which I think is okay. It's not the best. Um, I I've grown to like it. I like how when we're in combat, our shadows are more apparent and you have these nice silhouettes. Um, I think it's all done by one guy and that's why it kind of um, lacks some things. I didn't actually put that I was playing Sky Hill, so that would be one way that it would explain. Oh, hey, it's not so serious. Here, hold on. Wait, that's what... Okay. I think... Is that not so serious that I know? I think it is. Pretty sure it is. I don't want to accidentally mod someone that isn't someone that I know. Um... Is Hearthstone good? It's free. Um, you're definitely disadvantaged the later you go into the game. Okay, I will go ahead and mod you then, if you don't mind. Just you don't have to do anything if you just see someone who's obviously a bot or someone's like screaming racist words, then you know ban them. But otherwise, just have a nice little symbol next to your name. Uh, what happens if you leave the hotel? I haven't been able to get all the way down. Um, so. Thank you. Uh, I'm running low on food. I think this is a Russian developer based on like some of the uh, accents that the uh, characters have. I mean, they're supposed to be American, but um, they don't sound American in the slightest. They sound very Russian and some of the other stuff leads me to believe that like their Twitter account is uh, Russian. I believe, so it's a good game though. I like it. I can understand that other people wouldn't. So what I found, um, this is something I learned, is that accuracy gives you about 2% extra chance to hit um, every single time you uh, put a point into it. So it has diminishing returns because you can have a maximum of 95% accuracy on hitting something. So it's best to like put maybe like two points into it and then, like I don't know, some points into something like, well, I can make a mop head now. Uh, is a mop a good build right now? Four to six damage if we have enough decks. All right, we'll pump up the decks as well. Dex gives us dodge chance. Um, did you miss am? Yeah, yes, you did miss amnesia. I am sorry. Um, 
We'll eat some rice and some flour and shit. It's fine. All right. Uh, let's go back up. And then we'll build the mop. It's not a particularly great weapon, but um, it's better than what we got right now. And five to whatever amount of damage is good. Uh, it might be good to sleep. <sighs> no, no, I'm not going to sleep because I don't have enough food. I like that it, I didn't notice this before, but there's a little indication on what floor you've been to. So you know if you go to floor 91, you haven't seen all the other floors. I have not updated to uh, Windows 10 yet. I'm just, I've heard enough problems with it. I'm just not interested, to be honest. Um, newspaper clipping. Uh, the only known surprise... All right, so we already read this last stream. Basically, there's this guy called the mechanic that's go around, going around and killing people. And uh, that's bad. Uh, I'll trade you a pipe for a shovel. Uh, I don't have that. And also, you're full of shit, man. He got. He tries to get you to trade really dumb stuff for other stuff that just does not make sense. And it's like, dude, fuck off with that. So, I'm worried about upgrading to ten just because it'll cause some problem. I'm sure with streaming. <laughs> streaming is already so delicate and how it works half the time that oh fuck, I'm dead. <sighs> I need to just go for surefire hits to try and make sure that he leaves. I might be able to just convince him. Yeah, there we go. Those guys will run away pretty easily. So if I just hit him a few times, he might get freaked out enough that he'll leave. That's good. Um, no, it is a tad slower. I trust Carrie's opinion on these things because Carrie actually understands computers and I don't. Um, so if Carrie says that 10 has problems, then I'll, I'll believe him on that. Um. <sighs> Fucking, come on. Get out of here with this. I, I had a really good run yesterday going where I had like pretty decent accuracy and pretty good everything else going on. I had a pretty good weapon. I forget what I was using. Uh, I need a key. Can I use this on that? How do I... Okay, so I can unlock a hundred doors, maybe? I still think that looks like someone's sucking off. Um... I am a dog. I, I eat dog food. I remember watching, uh, I think it was What's My Line. Oh, there's a cooldown. I see. That's what that is. So, once I go through a certain number of doors, then it'll cool down. Um... Is there a chance that AMD will go under? I don't know. Computers. <sighs> Alright, I can take the fish out of here and eat the fish. <laughs> I'm just using a mop. It's not the best weapon in the world. Honestly, the, uh, the shiv is really good. What is the name of this game? This is uh, Sky Hill. There's a demo for it. I recommend it because I feel like this game is going to be some people's like secret sleeper hit and for some people it's going to be some just bullshit game. It's it's on that line. Like, if you like this war of mine, you'll like this. Or this war of ours or whatever it was called. Uh, even audio wise, it reminds me a lot of that game. Uh, aesthetically, it's a little bit different. Uh, gameplay wise, it's very similar. You know, you're building up and you're going out and you're doing dangerous things to get more stuff, but risk reward, can you go out farther to get more things? Is it worth going out there to, you know, get stuff and yada yada yada? Why did the water make a crunching sound? They just do. I don't know. All the things make the same sound. Like, what is the sound of a fish being opened? What is the sound of a fish being opened? Um, hmm. 
Yeah, we'll go ahead and use the med kit. We we fully use it, so it's fine. Uh, when you check the vine board, uh, the account, well, just make sure you tag me in it, and then you're fine. Uh, Last Stand, Union City, plus Lone Survivor. I need to check those games out, because I love this kind of game. Like, this, like, strategic use of resources and stuff. It's one of the reasons I like Minecraft. I know that's, like, a controversial thing to say that I like a game, but, you know, I kind of do like Minecraft. I haven't played it in a while. You can't play it unmodded, but um, it's nice and slow paced. It's very zen in a lot of ways, and it's fun to play with friends. I haven't played that in a while, though. Just, you know, crafting and expanding and I don't know. It's good. Lone Survivor is a really good game, and it's spooky. <laughs> That bed is like a chubby cat. Oh, I see it. Yeah, this. Okay. Oh, I leveled. Should probably do that real quick. Okay. Uh, if I put points into speed, I'm going to put a couple points into uh, accuracy, like I said. Because I forget what I need in order to have enough. And then I want to put some points into speed so I have enough to... Speed, I feel like, is one of the better weapon things. So this gives us a chance of having one point less damage or one point more damage. Let's try and uh, switch it out and see what happens. Critical hit. Strength gives you more critical hit chance, but honestly, like, if your accuracy is good enough and then you pump the stat that does damage, like, I don't know, maybe I, okay, let's try something new this time. Strength next. We'll put all our points in strength next time I level. Because I don't normally do that. Strength I usually avoid just because I'm dumb. You're probably right. Critical hit chance is probably something I need. Um, accuracy I want to keep putting points into. Um, just because it's... Especially later game. Like, the farther you get down this, um, the more of a problem it is. Like, things are hard to hit. So your best chance to actually hit something is to actually have things set up the right way. All right, so I should be able to eat trash. That is the thing that I got. But if I start getting my food too low, then I'm gonna have problems. Um, can pretty much two shot things now. Well, three shot them. Three shot them for sure. Two shot them sometimes. Yeah, he gets a little bit too into, like, eating. Also, he's very defeatist about, like, okay, how about, can we make a sandwich bu with butter? We don't have bread or butter, but can we envision another way of making it? Let's think. Mm-mm. Okay, um, yeah. This is not a mobile game. This is never a mobile game. As far as I'm aware. I just took a fish right out of the bowl. Apparently it's a bass and not like a... I don't know. Okay, cool. So I can eat this overripe pear without any chance of any damage, which is nice. Locked. I need a key. So I need to... Okay, so here's the thing that I learned with this game. I need to keep notes. Alright. So. Locked door. 83. Key. Because I am dumb. And you use up a lot of, um... Use up a lot of food. Just wandering around trying to find where you need to go. Oh, this. There we go. And death. I don't know. I'm kind of just out of it today, to be honest. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff setting up for this studio show um, that's coming up this next year. And um, I need to go paint here in about 10 minutes. But the nice thing about this game is it does allow me to save and we can come back to this. So. Nice. 
nice. There's always also the option of just heading straight down. I mean, we probably won't make it, but, you know, we could just go straight down and just ignore everything. What happens if we just go straight down? Let's just do that. Just ignore everything. We do need to fight stuff on the way down, but, like, let's see if we can get a little bit farther. I mean, I've got to go soon anyway, so let's just go for it. Um... There we go. Buttered toast is good for that kind of thing. Like, if you're a college student, yeah, that's great. I mean, we just made some great progress. We didn't get any supplies. That orange looks like a kiwi. I don't know. It's because it's rotten. But I can eat it because I'm a drug addict, apparently. And that's an advantage of being a drug addict. There are advantages to doing drugs, apparently. God damn it. Fuck off. Uh, is a very like orgasmic. Uh. There we go. Dead. Uh, and I got a level. So strength. Just put points into strength. There we go. Um, we do need to go get some food at some point. Do lots of drugs, and then you can eat rotten food. Like, eating and shelter are, like, the main problems you have being alive, aren't they? Like, you have to, like, eat or whatever. It's just like, God, it's so annoying. Um, right. We already read that one before. Isn't buttered toast still very expensive? It's, I mean... Relatively, I guess it is. I mean, cereal, I did the math, is very expensive, but um, eggs are pretty cheap for what you get. You can do, you know, scrambled eggs. Don't even have to add the milk. Just do eggs. And that's a good way of getting, like, we're gonna die here, unless we hit him and kill him. Uh, we have to do at least four damage. Um, all right, there we go, good. We got knuckles. We have 10 strength, then we can do 4 to 9 damage as opposed to... I mean, that's our best weapon right now, but we can't use it effectively. Right now, it's it's shit, so... <sighs> I mean, I guess we don't really need to care about things like that if we're just going straight down. We got to floor 69. We're doing pretty good. I mean, I guess that's part of the danger of going in every single room is that, like, you do use up resources just walking from there to there to there. You use up at least three, you know? But you're probably not getting the levels you need in order to get further down into this place. So when you actually start seeing some creepy shit... Oh, hey, it's the thing. New message from Witness. We shall meet on the 57th heaven. You shall be reborn in primal purity. 14-2. It's not a Bible verse. Um, Alright. When we get down to 20 uh, food, we'll go in a room and see if we can find stuff. Hey, thank you again, Don Duran. I, I'm gonna mispronounce your name, but that's that's one of the, the perks of, of subscribing to me, is me uh, fucking up your name on a regular basis. Every month I make a bad attempt at pronouncing your name. It's a subscriber perk. Oh god, I hate these guys, because they have a chance of poisoning you, and if you don't have the stuff, then you're awful. Like, you're just dead. Um, let's go for the higher damage. They do so much damage just in of themselves. And you can't progress further down unless you attack. Like, you can go up, but you can't go down. Please don't. Oh, god damn it. He barfed on me. Okay. Do we have a. Um... No, we don't. Alright. So we only have a limited number of turns before we die. Um, we got some cherries, though. That's nice. Wait. Can we make fruit salad with that? No. Okay. So we'll just eat the cherry then. Oh, we got a 
all out of that. We're taking damage every time we move now because we have um, no smoking in this room. Good. Yeah, they can uh, barf up their lungs basically to poison you, which is really annoying. And I don't have any healing packs or any items like that, so um, this guy may kill me, and it would suck. We're not going in there. <laughs> Gonna die. Overripe corn. We basically need uh, painkillers. We can use the mutant's blood with uh, corn. Got a key. No chance, or there's no guarantee that the key will actually get us anywhere. Um, all right, so we got three more moves. So it's gonna be one, two, and then three. We basically just have to hope that one, Two, and then we pray that all right left or right guys I'm gonna check and see if there's any other way oh wait we can it's not gonna work uh, we need to get our health up and we just don't have the health right now we have a better weapon so that's cool uh, there was a locked door right above me but there's no guarantee that there's anything in the locked room uh, we can't make the antidote unless if we find it so we have basically one more move because it'll do one damage to us so we'll be at point two health so one of these two rooms has to be the answer which way do you think i should go i mean there was a locked room we went in earlier uh, a few moves ago and it didn't get us anywhere When in doubt, go left. All right. There's just a circular saw here. And I'm dead. Um, I don't think there's any way of me solving this problem. I think I'm just fucked. Yeah. I don't believe there's a way out. Let's see if there's a way of crafting. No, I can't craft painkillers. I'm dead. Oh well. I got the floor 55. That's pretty good. It's one of the furthest I've ever gotten. Um, I say we speed run it. Let's just go for it. Uh, normal. Food and um, your damage is reduced by 50%. So if do you think stairs mean like the middle thing? Uh, no, it's not that type of poison. Um, so what I think I'm going to go with is, um, if I go with Rampage, I always strike first. You won't... Okay. Okay, that doesn't help us any. Um... I think I'm going to go with that. Let's try that ability. Let's just go straight down. We're just doing a speed run of it today. Is it gonna work? Probably not, no. Um. I can go left and right. All right, we got a kitchen knife, that's good. What does a kitchen knife use? Speed, okay, speed is good. Speed gives you an extra chance at double attacks. So if we put points into that, that'll help. Alright, there we go. That guy's down. We're just going straight down. Well, don't worry. We're we're ending the stream very soon. I'm just gonna see how far I can get by just going straight down rather than actually playing the game the way you're supposed to and like looking for supplies. See if that's an effective strategy. I don't imagine it is. Um, I imagine that the game is balanced in such a way that you need um, to go in rooms. You need to have stuff or else you won't make it. 
I have enough food to make it all the way to the bottom. Do I have enough health to make it all the way to the bottom is the question. Because with this perk, I have extra food. I have enough to top me off, so. This guy's just kicking my ass. Please stop. Fuck off. Thank you. Let's see what he's got. Nothing. Alright, go down. I should probably have leveled up some before getting down this far, but I think these are like the first enemies you fight anyway, so it doesn't seem like it really matters. Um, if I can live through this fight, I can just go straight back up to the top of the hotel and heal. Oh, fuck. I think I have a healing thing, right? I have painkillers. Um, accuracy goes up as well as speed. That way we do extra damage. We have some rice. We'll eat the rice. Next time we can repair the elevator, we'll, we will, and then we'll just go straight back to the top. I'm not too concerned about the weapon. The weapon I had was fairly basic. Okay, can I leave? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speed running does not work. You actually do have to uh, try to go in some rooms and that kind of thing. It gets you a little bit of distance. Sometimes um, it's not worth it to go in the rooms, but sometimes it is. Uh, I'm going to close out of this, and then um, I was hoping you would stream this tonight. Well, you're going to be very disappointed that uh, I'm actually stopping now. I'm going to check the art real quick. If you guys will please stick around. Um, people put a lot of hard work into art, and they hope that it gets seen by people so if you guys don't mind sticking around just that way i can show off the arts it would be wonderful um looks like there's some stuff from violante if i i recognize the art she's good peoples um and i'm gonna check and see if there's anything else because i believe someone was trying to get me to look at something that uh they did for y'all um some weird guy posted a picture of uh, or some sprites of Yol. Uh, his hair is not quite that long. He's actually uh, shaved his hair. Um, let me uh, bring this up real quick so you guys can see. You can always watch the stuff on YouTube, I'm sorry. Um, but I just... I don't know. Whoops, wrong window. Alright, uh, this one. Select... All right, so here's one from some weird guy. He was asking me to give my opinion of uh, his Yule Sprite that he made. Uh, I'm actually going to zoom in quite a bit because you guys probably can't see shit. Um, it looks good. Does it look like Yule? As much as one of these sprites can. Um, it's actually incredibly well detailed. I wonder if he used um, a uh, program or if that is actually just how good he arts. Um back over to this we got some stuff from Violante. Violante says uh Reventilda uh I have to say you're my favorite streaming dynamic duo you're both very loving and fun to be around so these pins are for you guys oh and happy birthday Rev thank you it's not my birthday which you damn well know um looks a little bit like RPG maker yeah um but this is good stuff right here they're little pins mine has a top hat Tilda's has a little bat brooch uh hair pin thing uh, and she actually did one uh, for all the streamers uh, so going in a circle starting at um, the top I guess is uh, Yol, then me then Hoots, Fred Dyer Limes, Darren KY, Ima Jin and then directly in the center is uh, Vinny that's cool. I like them. They're cool. They're little pins. Um, they're cool looking. <sighs> I am tired though, so I do not show the proper appreciation for good art. I really like hooties. 
And I like the gradient that she got going on with uh, Dire Boars. Where's Study? I don't know where the fuck Study's been. <laughs> um, same with Fear Gingers. Anyway, uh, I am just finishing up now. I'm sorry. I, I start at 3. Uh, I should try and figure out a way to start at 5, but it's just not possible for me. So, anyway. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, Bread Atop is, I think, fairly close to being done with the uh, the emotes for me and you'll, and then uh, we'll be doing that. Um, yeah, Gingers was here for... Uh, KF2 or um, Killing Floor 2. I was reading someone or Mafa's thing in chat. That is true. Um, but anyway, um, here, hold on. Can I like copy this? Because that'd be really funny. Oh, whatever. What if I do this and then this and then this? Yes. Yes. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm clearly not in a good state of mind. I think I'm just out of it. So thank you guys for watching either way. Thank you guys, those of you that decided to stick around and uh, look at the art. Um, artists put a lot of hard work into shit. And, um, you know, I want to give them the respect they deserve. I can't obviously pay everyone who puts up art on the Boru. But I can uh, at least show their art. And hopefully they use the same tag they use on Tumblr or Twitter or whatever. So that way you can go find them and commission them. So that way they can make money. That's the best I can do. And I keep in mind people who I like who do good art. Like Bredo Topier, who is recommended by C, who I trust on art stuff. Who did this emote. And uh, I'm commissioning them to do art for us. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!